the news quickly spreads among the American people that a Chinese table tennis delegation is going to pay a reciprocal visit to the United States in April 1972 at the invitation of the United States Table Tennis Association. The American people express in many different ways their friendly feelings and warm welcome for the Chinese team. On April 12th, the Chinese table tennis delegation, led by Zhuang Zedong, accompanied by Mr. Graham Stinghoven, president of the U.S. Table Tennis Association, arrives by special plane at the U.S. northern industrial city of Detroit, Michigan. American people from all walks of life, including table tennis players, as well as members of the Chinese community, come to the airport to welcome the first ambassadors of goodwill sent by the Chinese people to the United States. On behalf of the U.S. Table Tennis Association, Mr. Stinghoven speaks to welcome the Chinese guests coming from afar. In reply, Zhuang Zedong says, Our delegation has come to the United States in the spirit of friendship first and competition second. We'd like to take this opportunity to learn from the American people and players and we will do our part to enhance understanding and friendship between the Chinese and American peoples. That evening, the mayor of Detroit, Mr. Roman Grips and Mrs. Grips, give a dinner in honor of the Chinese team.
Detroit, the motor city of the United States. The Chinese table tennis delegation is invited to see a Chrysler assembly plant where they are warmly welcomed by the auto workers. The Chinese players convey to the workers the friendship and regards of the Chinese people for the American working people. The American workers express to the Chinese players their good wishes for new China and their sincere friendship for the Chinese people. The Chinese players give a demonstration of their game to the workers in their cafeteria. The Chinese table tennis team visits the Latin Community Center in Detroit. A representative of the community welcomes the Chinese friends. of the University of Michigan receive friendly envoys from New China for the first time. <laughs> members of the Chinese team meet and chat with faculty members and students of the university. The young Americans express their friendly feelings for New China and the Chinese people. A crowd of 12,000 spectators watch the first friendly match between the Chinese and American players at Cobo Coliseum, Detroit. Many spectators indicate that they have come not only to watch the match, but also to welcome friends from China.
The dazzling skill of the players wins warm applause from the audience. The players of both countries express the belief that such matches will promote mutual understanding between the players of the two countries. They say they are very glad to have the chance of learning from each other. The Chinese players are resolved to work together with American friends to enhance understanding and friendship between the two peoples. Williamsburg, Virginia, capital of colonial Virginia. It played an important role in the American Revolution. The Chinese table tennis delegation visits Williamsburg. This was the capital in colonial Virginia. The historic Virginia's assembly sat here 200 years ago. To help the visitors see the past, guides wear 18th century costumes. paper was made 200 years ago. A dexterous craftsman demonstrates for the Chinese guests the 18th century art of watercolor printing. In the evening, the local hosts give a reception for the Chinese table tennis delegation. A performance of chamber music for the Chinese guests. Thank you. 
Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States of America, and the next stop on the Chinese table tennis team's itinerary. On April 18, President Richard Nixon receives the Chinese table tennis delegation in the Rose Garden of the White House. President Nixon chats with Li Menghua and Chen Da-yong, deputy leaders of the Chinese table tennis delegation presidential assistant on national security affairs, Dr. Henry Kissinger, is also present. After the reception, the Chinese table tennis delegation is conducted on a tour of the White House. At the Cole Fieldhouse of the University of Maryland, they are accorded a warm welcome by an audience of 11,000. <laughs> Secretary of State William Rogers and President Nixon's daughter, Mrs. Tricia Cox, attend the match and meet with Zhuang Zedong, leader of the Chinese team. A friendly match between the Chinese and American players begins. A year ago, table tennis players of the two countries met in Peking, capital of China, and became friends. Today, they are particularly glad to play a game in Washington, D.C. The Chinese and American players are warmly applauded by the audience for their vigorous morale and excellent skill. Mr. Rogers and Mrs. Tricia Cox congratulate the Chinese players on their success. New York City the biggest city in the United States and site of the United Nations headquarters. Huang Hua, China's permanent representative to the United Nations, greets the table tennis delegation at the airport. They pay a visit to the UN headquarters. This is the Security Council chamber. The seat for the permanent representative of the People's Republic of China.
Invited by the UN Secretariat, the Chinese team gives an exhibition match in the trusteeship council chamber before an audience of 650 UN diplomats. During their stay in New York City, the Chinese team takes a sightseeing cruise on the East River accompanied by American friends. They cordially chat about their mutual friendship. Pupils of public school number 75 in New York City give a warm welcome to the visiting Chinese guests. The children dance for the Chinese guests. They present their drawings as souvenirs. Permanent Chinese representative to the UN, Huang Hua, holds a reception to mark the occasion of the delegation's visit. He invited our American friends from different walks of life, UN Secretary General Mr. Kurt Waldheim and Mrs. Waldheim, President of the US Table Tennis Association Mr. Graham Steenhoven, Also invited are diplomats of friendly countries in the United Nations. The Chinese table tennis delegation visits Memphis, Tennessee, an important city on the Mississippi. In Memphis, Chinese and American players coach each other. Chinese players show their American counterparts how they serve and smash. Arrival in Los Angeles, California, a major city on the west coast of the United States. Former governor of California, Mr. Edmund Brown. President of the Los Angeles Host Committee, Mr. Rocco Siciliano, and other American friends, as well as representatives from the Chinese community, Welcome the Chinese table tennis delegation at the airport. Accompanied by their local host and American table tennis players, the Chinese guests visit Marineland, an aquarium in Los Angeles, and watch a performance by whales and dolphins.
They were taught new tricks by their trainers to welcome the Chinese table tennis delegation. On the evening of April 24th, Chinese and American players hold another friendly match at Pauley Pavilion, UCLA. 13,000 spectators from Los Angeles and surrounding areas come to enjoy the marvelous skill of the players of the two countries. The men's doubles event between mixed teams, each composed of players of both countries, leaves an unforgettable impression on the audience. Winning or losing is temporary, but friendship is eternal. Following the principle of friendship first, competition second, the Chinese table tennis players, during their stay in the United States, have deepened mutual understanding with the American players through competitions and contacts, and made a contribution towards enhancing the friendship between the Chinese and American peoples. San Francisco, another port on the west coast. A crowd of hundreds from the Chinese community and other American friends turn out to give a rousing welcome to the Chinese table tennis delegation. These members of the Chinese community have cherished fond memories of their homeland and have waited for more than 20 years to greet their kinsmen. Today, this wish of theirs has finally come true. The Chinese table tennis delegation visits this vineyard on the outskirts of San Francisco. Workers of the vineyard acquaint the visitors with their work and life. In their living quarters, the workers ask the Chinese players 
to convey their warm greetings and good wishes to the Chinese peasants. The Chinese table tennis delegation spent 18 days in the United States from April 12th to 29th. Wherever they went, from coast to coast, from the north with the lingering cold to the south on the threshold of summer, they were accorded a warm welcome and friendly hospitality by the American people. Having come with the desire to promote understanding and friendship between the Chinese and American peoples, they take back with them the profound sentiments of friendship held by the American people for the Chinese people. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.